Good evening, this is Dr. Battle, and I'm just here to kind of help you learn to navigate the online version of biblical literature. Now, this is the page for the Fort Jackson version of the online course for you. And as you see over here on your left-hand side is where you have your blue field, which is your main menu. Um, just to kind of give you an orientation, if you click on information right here, uh, you'll see that you'll come up with contact information for me and be able to contact me through these numbers, probably best through the email address right there. Then you have the phone number and suite. Uh, the syllabus, as you see, is also over here in the blue field, and you can click on that and review the syllabus. What's important for your coursework is the modules, and you see the modules over here on the left. The modules, when you click on it, uh, will open up and you'll see this screen before you. Up here at the top you have the honor code, uh, or Claflin honor code, so to deal with that you click on it, you open it, and then you have it. Right here you can read it, you can download the honor code right here, and then to sign it you just click right here on that sign in here, and hopefully Blackboard will come up in a reasonable amount of time. And uh, what you can do is you can either upload an honor code that you have signed yourself, or down here at the bottom you can simply type that I, um, Dr. Uh, battle uh, agree to abide by the honor code. So, 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 and then you'd come down here and you would hit submit right there. So that's what you would do for the honor code. But let's work our way back. One of the nice features of this is that you can come up here to the top and navigate and come into modules. And now here, precurse work was for last week to kind of get you familiar with how the online environment works, for, but let's just go on to uh, Module A. Now each, each week has a different module, so this week is Module A, next week will be Module B. So click on Module A, and you'll see Module A is broken up like this. You have Session 1 up here at the top, uh, Session 2, Session 3. And so which each session is basically a different section of the notes, and you'll begin working your way through it. Underneath the session you have the discussion board which for module A is called uh, two creation accounts and when you see that symbol you know that's the discussion board, that just, that's the access to the discussion board. And then at the end of the week you uh, go to the assessments and you put in your assessments. Here on paper it will take you to uh, where you start pre start presenting information on your paper. For example, what book of the Bible do you want to do an introduction to? Then the bibliography and f further on from there. But let's go up and look at each session. Yeah, as you see, we have session one, session two, and session three. Session one, when we click on it and open it, and da -da -da, session one, when we click on it and open it, will look something like this. And here we'll have the reading assignments that you're asked to read and it lists it there. Um, most of the reading assignments are found either in Stuart and Fee or, or, they, or they are found in your ESV Study Bible. And you can see if it says ESV Study Bible that tells you what uh, what passages you'll be reading. It tells you that's the ESV Study Bible, these pages. One difficulty with the study Bible you probably will have gotten, it may not have those pages. It may only go up to 2,500. In that case, those articles are found right here at the ESV reading assignments. You'll see interpreting the Bible and introduction, interpreting the Bible and introduction, reading the Bible as literature, reading the Bible as literature. So you see right there they are. So you can just click on them and open up and actually read these, this article which is if you have the shorter version of the ESV Study Bible right there for you. Then what you can do is you work your way through these elements and just use this to navigate or use this column to help you navigate within the session. Or you can come up here and uh, use that to navigate or you can just back out. Uh, you have the maps and you can kind of look at your maps and kind of get a familiarity, connect that video. Now. 
There's two things you need to know about each of these sessions. There's one thing you need to do during each session, and you need to have these quizzes done basically by Saturday. And here you have quiz two, uh, the Pentateuch. You need to just click on that, and it tells you that you'll it's the on this quiz on the books to the Pentateuch. And basically, what you have to do is just list the books of the Pentateuch. As you know, the Pentateuch are the first five books of the Bible, so that becomes Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers and Deuteronomy. You just need to write out their names, and you're going to be asked to do this multiple times. Just uh, become familiar with it. Um, then you'll have also a map question, and you'll right here you'll see you have your maps to study and prepare for that, the various maps on there to help you with. Now, the review. The reviews are not graded. They're designed to help you prepare for the assessment. You have three attempts at it, but that's fine. What you do is just see if you can do it, print it out, and then find your answers for that session. And uh, the questions that are found in the review will show up in the assessment. Not all of them, but some of them will. So if you know the answers to the question in the review, and it will tell you whether you got it right or wrong, um, the, you will be prepared for the assessment. For the assessment. Now, how do you find the assessment? Well, the assessment's part of Module A. Right here, you see Module A. So we go back to the beginning of Module A. Come on. And here you have the assessment. The assessment is due Saturday. So the reviews help you get ready for the assessment. If you know the answers to the questions in the review, you will do well on the assessment. Okay, uh, So that's what they're designed for. The other thing you need to concern about uh, is the discussion, the discussion board. You need to post on that Wednesday. And um, make sure you complete uh, just the initial post and then respond to a fellow student by Saturday. But so what your basic assignment is is that you work through these sessions throughout the week. Um, if you want to do all three of the quizzes of each one on this one day, that's fine. But I would work through this one on one day and then work through this one on another day and work through this one on another day. This is due by Wednesday. These are due by Saturday. By Saturday. Uh, so the uh, discussion board is due Wednesday, your initial post. The assessment is due Saturday. And these are just kind of just work through each uh, during the week. I hope this help makes things a little bit clearer for you and makes this project more pleasant for you. Take care. Lord be with. Goodbye.